another dark web mystery box. I am Crypto NWO and today's video is sponsored by nobody because nobody ever wants to sponsor a dark web channel. But anyways, we have a beautiful Swiss Army knife over here. Hopefully one day they would sponsor me. Got a four camera setup. You guys can see that's camera one. This is camera two. Camera three is right on my head. And camera number four is this camera that I always like to use. That's what the box looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my label off this box. It's the Darknet PO box label and I don't want anyone to send stuff to my Darknet PO box. I'm gonna take off the top of the box. And we're gonna go ahead and get this video started. Oh baby, these are my, okay. <laughs> these are my favorite type of dark web boxes. We got stuff on the edges. I'm gonna show you guys with this cam. Four. I'll read that in a second. GK. Oh, another face. Another four. Another four. 10.19. And over here it says, Phasmophobia is an intense fear of ghosts. For people with a ghost phobia, the mere mention of supernatural things, ghosts, witches, vampires, can be enough to evoke the irrational fear. Other times, a movie or a TV show might be responsible. www.helpline.com Did you guys know that the www stands for World Wide Web? You learn something new every day. I don't know what else it means, to be honest. I have no idea what the purpose of it is. But we also have a number 4 and 10.19, and there was a G and a K. GK right here. But anyways, without any further hesitation, we're going to go ahead and get this box started. What the heck? The first thing we're pulling out of the box is, um, I have no idea what this is, but I want you guys to take a close look at it. If you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comment section. It looks like kind of has like a snaky body, but that's the first thing we're going to be pulling out of the box. Uh, I saw another thing here and that's, I, I don't want to start too dull with you guys. I see this and this is what's catching my eye. I'm going to be starting with what catches my eye and ending off with, with whatever. So um, I have a wallet here with a few faces on them. It says Liam Lewis, Niall, Niall, Zane. Oh, this is... This is one direction. There's one more guy, I'm, I'm pretty sure, the curly headed dude. Oh, Harry, yeah, you can see his name's right there. Harry. Huh. I don't know which one, I don't know who's who. I don't know which one, where the curly headed dude, maybe it's this guy, I don't know. We have something here that says, do not turn, on. do not turn on. On the back, it says one direction. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting this started with a banger. So we have a One Direction looking, I think it's a wallet over here. Nothing inside the little zipper. But I want you guys to take a closer look at it. <laughs> look at this, do not turn on. Oh, oh, we have cards in here. Oh, we have a Visa card in here. Oh, shoot. okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first look of what's inside this little wallet. What in one direction? Okay, okay, we have a lot of work to do here. I'm gonna get started with this side, then this side, and then I'm gonna work towards the middle because I have, I see a Visa card over here. Pulling out a five of spades. Oh boy. Anyways, I'm gonna set my camera down. The next thing I'm gonna pull out, it's a dude. Nelson Baker, Apostle of Charity, MSGR Nelson Henry Baker V.G. Um, I have absolutely no idea who this is, who this person is, but every time I see a face in a dark web mystery box, it kind of creeps me out. I don't know, this person, I think he passed away maybe. New York. On the bottom, you can see it's in New York. I hope that's a clue. The next thing I'm going to be pulling out, oh, maybe I should be careful putting my fingers inside these. The next thing we have inside here looks like a little bracelet. I don't know 
what that symbolizes. If you guys know what this symbolizes, just let me know in the, in the comment section down below. Like, what is this symbol? What does that mean? If I sit here trying to decipher everything, I'm going to be sitting here for hours upon hours upon hours. That's why the comment section exists. That's why my audience loves solving these mysteries. We got the first section done. And now we're going to move on to the right side. First thing we're going to, I'm going to pull. Do not turn on. Should I turn this on? <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. I'll put this aside. The next thing I'm gonna pull out, a little paper. A little shark dude with a orange body. Fox with a tail, with a shark tail. <laughs> Something is so wrong here. A shark? What is this? Is that a, is this a fox or is that like a coyote? Your boy is getting confused. Over here it says It says get 113 or II3 Evans her Get 113 Evans her. If you guys see anything upside down let me know. But that's again what it looks like. Get 113 Evans her. It looks like we're done. Everything. Oh, there's something inside this little pocket here. Okay. Wow. Everything from the left side and the right side are complete. We have the middle to go through, but before we go through the middle, there was this little, that little thing inside the pocket. So open it. It has a white cable, a white wire. Okay, it says five, eight, five, five, nine. These are coordinates, longitude and latitude. 47.526623. And then longitude is minus 177.5390. Listen, I've gotten coordinates before in my dark web mystery boxes. I have no idea where this is and I can just do a simple search right now, type these coordinates in. Don't go to these coordinates. Don't go to these locations. If anybody sees these locations, even if you live near these locations, I don't condone you going to these locations. This is a dark web box. This box came off the dark web. The dark web is a scary place that people go to buy drugs, guns, killers, hitmen, all these, you know, some people want to buy kidnap victims. If you need a kidnap victim in your house for some help, you know, just go on the dark web. But the point is, if you see these coordinates, you live near, near these coordinates, you want to travel to these coordinates, please don't do that. I know me saying that makes people want to go more, but don't travel to this place because, you know, the dark web, it's a really bad place. And if this box came from the dark web and these are coordinates from a dark web box, maybe you should stay away from the coordinates. That was that. I thought that was going to take a little longer. Now we have the middle side. I really want to pull out that visa card, but I'm going to save the anticipation. I don't know if you guys see this, but there's a key. I'm sure you guys saw that by now. Okay, maybe I'll take out the key last. I don't know what the heck the key is gonna be. We have the Home Depot. It's a card. It says 6035-2944. And then it's missing these numbers. And it says 0640, where the name should be on every card is kind of taken off. That's what the card looks like. That's what the back looks like. 0640, last four digits. So for example, you would have to go to Home Depot to use this card. You would have to guess 9,999 different possible numbers. Let's say you're going on the Home Depot online store and you wanted to use this. You would have to guess the four numbers that are here, which is 9,999 possible combinations. You would have to get the name right. So the possibilities of this is like, you have a better chance of solving a SHA-256 algorithm. And for the people that know, solving a SHA-256 algorithm, or not an algorithm, sorry, the encryption is, is damn near impossible in today's day and age. So we're gonna take this Home Depot card, put it with the rest. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the next thing. St. Michael's Catholic 1415 principal, principal, principal. I don't know if you guys are like me. I don't know how many people are like me, but like I get really confused with principal and principal. Two different meanings, two different words. And I, every time they tell me to spell one of the other, I completely get it mixed up. But that's principal because this looks like a, a student card. A student card here. It has a 13, a 14 and a 15, St. Michael's Catholic School or something, I'm assuming school, or Catholic High, 
or Catholic secondary. I have no idea. The back is completely blank. The face of the person is completely torn off. I have no idea, but that's what it looks like. This is pretty cool. Somebody's student card. Maybe considering why it's inside the dark web box. Maybe it doesn't make it so cool anymore, but student card. This is the most dark webby mystery box I've ever seen. What do I mean by that? I've gotten a lot of dark web stuff and they can either be cryptic, they can either be disgusting, they can either be like unwatchable, you know, like something filled with like pillows, smelled like pee or a bunch of wood two by fours inside a box. I've gotten really crappy stuff off the dark web, but this is the most actual dark webby type of mystery box. There's credit cards. It looks like somebody's entire freaking identity is in here. We're about to pull out a visa card. Oh, oh shoot, this one here literally is missing two numbers. Two numbers are missing on it. <laughs> the last card we had, the Home Home Depot card, this Home Depot card here, it's missing four freaking numbers. This one here is missing two, what are the, po oh, but the name, the name is not here. The expiration date is not here. A TD Bank Visa card, a TD friggin' Bank Visa card. TD Bank stands for the Toronto Dominion Bank. I'm pretty sure you guys in the States have TD Banks as well, but it's like huge in Canada. Like one in four people, random statistic, but apparently like one in four people, one in five people have a TD Bank. Like everybody I know has a TD Bank account. This wallet most likely came from a Canadian. However, this thing here says New York on it, but it's a TD Visa card. Maybe I can read the back and see if it's Canada or not. It says tdcanadatrust.com. I don't know, I don't know. All I know is .ca websites are Canada websites and .com are mostly, mostly American websites. Mostly, not all. But the next thing we're gonna be pulling out is, ooh, ooh, what the heck is this? This is an SSD Western Digital WD Black. How much is this? Tell me in the comment section how much storage is on here and I'm gonna figure out a way how the hell I'm gonna have to access this storage. I'm gonna put this to the side and now, we have a key and I'm gonna be putting this key to the side and saving it for later. Okay, now I'm gonna be turning on this device that says do not turn on. <laughs> oh boy. Is it on? It, what's happening? There's a button here. There's one button here. If I press it. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys know what this is, let me know in the comment section down below. It says, do not turn on. Oh, it's flashing. It's flashing. You would press this button and after a couple seconds, it would beep. We're going to take this and put this to the side. It says do not turn on on it. And I, I don't know how many times I turned it on. I don't know if it was on the entire time, but we're going to take it and put it to the side. Okay, we, we're, we're done with that wallet with the One Direction characters on it. We've got tissue. Tissue. I was just about to blow my nose with them. What is wrong with me? We got more tissues, more tissues. You got an issue? Well, there's a tissue. The next thing we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box is we have a plug here that I'm not gonna be plugging into my house. It says Amazon on the, on the plug. Oh, it was plugged into something. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... It says, do not plug in. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it in. Do not plug in. What is this? I'm gonna plug this in. Wait until later on in the video. Stick around until later on in the video if you guys wanna see me plug this in. But the next thing I'm gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box is we got a joker here. Joker, pretty interesting joker card here. The next thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box, we've got, so we've got a jack in the box. I freaking hate these things. For the people that don't know what a jack-in-the-box is, and if you live under a rock like me in some of my videos, a jack-in-the-box is a musical device that you would rotate this thing in this direction. So this direction, if I'm pointing it towards you. And it's going to, to pop out at the end of the song. I hope it's not the same freaking song because it's a creepy song, but it's like this again, so. Oh, I hate this song. Ah. 
Oh my god, it's supposed to finish! This song is supposed to finish before Little Dude pops out. But we've got a clown, a clown in a box. Ladies and gentlemen, clowns. As if Halloween just finished and you know, I've had enough of clowns, but I'm, we've got something on the back, we have gold. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell? I hope it's gold, I'm gonna get it checked out. I'll get it checked out. Looks pretty freaking shiny. Have a, we have a note here. Oh, we have coordinates. Longitude is minus 80.617832. The latitude is 38.666141. I don't know if that's coincidental. I don't know, but we've got coordinates here. Again, the last disclaimer that I gave you guys, just stay away from these coordinates. Doesn't matter where they are, even if it's like your next door neighbor, just please stay away, move out. <laughs> if you're one of the people that's like really curious that lives probably near these, this location, don't travel to that location, please. Take it from me because like I said, this comes from a box. I'm Mystery box. Mystery box comes from the dark web. Somebody that sold it on the dark web. God knows what's going on there. And I know curiosity is a is a <laughs> is a problem, but try your hardest not to go there. Inside that little baggie. I don't know how the hell. Inside the little baggie, we've had we had a gold a gold necklace. I'm assuming it's real gold because I've gotten lots of real gold from dark web mystery boxes. Lots of them. If you guys think it's real, let me know. But, oh, we have a logo in there. Oh, I recognize this logo. The Freemason logo. Um, the Freemason logo. It has a compass. Like, you know, the compass we use in mathematics. It has that compass. I don't know what it's open to though. If you guys know what degrees the compass is open to, just let me know. But it also has that unfinished triangle on the bottom and it always has a G in the middle. I never understood what the G stands for. If you guys know what the G stands for in the Freemason logo, the Freemasonry logo, just let me know in the comment section because I have absolutely no idea. This is nice. This is nice. If it wasn't so freaking whatever Freemasons believe in, I don't know what the heck they believe in to be honest. I can't answer that question for you, but if it wasn't so problematic and controversial, it would be a beautiful, absolutely beautiful pendant. But unfortunately, somebody says they're a Freemason and the world just like collapses like, oh, he's a bad person, you're a bad person, you're a Freemason. If you guys have any expertise in this stuff, because a lot of people in my comment section seem to like know a lot about this stuff, let me know what's so bad about it. What, what was so problematic about this group of people? Because like, apparently they're just rich people. Do you just not like them because they're billionaires? Or is it just like, there's actually some really bad stuff going on? Let me know in the comment section. But that was all that was inside the little Jack in the box. We had a clown in the box and behind the clown, we had a Freemason, Freemasonry, uh, pendant on a chain. Maybe it's real gold, maybe not, but we also had coordinates and you guys are gonna have to stay away from that. If you are a jack-in-the-box creator and you somehow create these little devices, can you please let the little guy pop out when the song is finished? The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web box is we're gonna be pulling out another white box with another gold chain around it. This one here feels real. Yeah, like this one doesn't feel heavy, feels weird, feels light and like stainless. So I'm gonna put it to the side. Inside this box, what we have, another coordinate. Oh, this box smells really freaking bad. This box smells really, really bad in here. It smells horrible, like absolutely horrid. It smells like dirt. It smells like like rotting, something rotting. So I'm gonna take this and save this for later because usually when I get to those parts of the mystery box, I just wanna finish the video. I kind of rush the video's ending. So if I do it now, the rest of the video is not gonna be that good. So I'm gonna save that for later. If you guys wanna stick around for that, just it smells absolutely horrid. I wish they had a technology where you guys can smell what you see through the screen but at this moment, I kind of don't wish because this smells really bad and I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. So the next thing I'm going to be pulling out of the dark web mystery box. We've got a little bubble wrapped package inside here. Oh, so beautiful Swiss Army knife. Please sponsor your boy. Go ahead, open the package. We've got a paper inside there. Oh, that danks. Oh, we've got, we've got some, okay, yeah, we've got some funny stuff inside here. Ladies and gentlemen, a black bag, a black bag. You know what this means. I'm gonna open this black bag and it's gonna be exactly what I think it is because the smell smells like a skunk's butt. And <laughs> you know what happens when you smell a skunk's butt inside a bag. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, yeah, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you guys with this camera. I'm gonna give you guys a, you know what? 
I kind of don't want to put this on my kitchen table right now. It's going to make my house smell absolutely bad. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to have it on a better table. And here's a better look for you guys. That's exactly what it looks like. I'm going to be taking it, chucking it in the garbage and I don't need it, but that's all. I just can't bear the smell of it right now. I'm just going to take it and put it to the side. I know a lot of people get really mad in the comment section when I chuck that stuff away, but ask me if you got a mystery box off the dark web and it had that stuff in it, even if you consumed it, how much would you trust it? Ask yourself, be honest. Tell me in the comment section down below. We also had, we had this little piece of a, looks like a toilet paper roll, but we had a paper inside here. Oh, 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 it's a book. We have a book, great, a book. Listen, last time I got lots of papers, I didn't go through it in the entire video. I'm gonna kind of just go through the headline, the ending or something. And if you guys wanna check out all of these papers, go in the comment section down below. Find the link where it says papers because I don't know how to pronounce half the stuff on here. I'm gonna do some sounding out, but here's what it says. It says the effect of adrenochrome on sympathetic Aesthetic nerve stimulation by, yeah, I'm not gonna say his name, in January 1946. So basically this is what it says on here. Lots of big words that I'm gonna have trouble mispronouncing, but it says experiments on spontaneous something in the rabbit's ear have shown that adrenochrome, which has no vasto consist I don't know, action of its own, blah, 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 blah. This could be explained. I don't know what this is about, but again, the papers are gonna be in the comment section down below. So if you guys wanna check out these papers, just click the link in the description. Once you're done checking out the papers, come back to this video, or you can let me finish the unboxing. And then once the video's done, then you can check out the papers if you really want to. But I really want you guys to finish this unboxing with me because there's still more stuff to go check out on. And the next thing we're gonna be pulling out from the mystery box is a hard drive. I don't know what the heck that was. I don't know what the heck this is, but this thing was stuck to it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take a look at that in a second. But we have a hard drive over here. Take a look at this. Another dark web hard drive. Ladies and gentlemen, dark web hard drives give me a horrible past. If you guys see something that just popped up on the screen, it's my First ever time I got dark web hard drives, that video was absolutely scary. It was actually one of my rawest reactions. That video was my first ever dark web box, I believe. No, 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 no. That was my third ever dark web box. That video got like 4 million views and part one got like 12 million views. The contents are always absolutely freaky. It says I, O, backwards R, I, G, origin. Gin, origin, origin. I don't know, I have no idea. I have no clue, but take this, put this to the side. The next thing we're pulling out of the dark web box, it says K, backwards K, L, U, E, clue. We have those, um, those laundry clips. I don't know what, ah, what are these called? The, uh, these are like the laundry clips where you keep your clothes outside hanging to dry. I don't know what they're called. Don't bash me for that. With that white wire we saw earlier tied around it. Oh, more than one white wire tied around it. These uh, laundry outdoor clips. I don't know what they're called. Though. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's going to bash me in the comment section. The same man that doesn't know what a slap bracelet is. The next thing that I'm going to be pulling out of the dark web mystery box. Got to make this easy. We're going to pull out this little package here. And this package we've got. Oh, that smells bad. Oh, that smells horrible. Oh, that smells horrible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have inside this package. Oh my God. Oh my. <coughs> <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, what we have inside the package over here. Oh my God. <coughs> this, this, there's two packages that smell horrible. Oh, this one smelled horrible. I didn't even know this one's gonna have something inside it. That box that we had earlier smelled absolutely horrible. This one was completely unexpected. <coughs> I'm gonna try to hold <coughs> I'm gonna try to hold it in. I'm gonna try to hold it in. Oh, I'm gonna take this and just chuck this away because if I if I if I throw up now, then the entire video is gonna be over. I'm gonna want to rush to the very ending. I'm gonna take this and go chuck this away. Oh sweet Jesus. <sighs> Oh, that was absolutely petrifying. That was, 
oh, that absolutely shook me up, but I'm gonna have myself held together because I know once I throw up, I really rush till the end of the video. And there's one more box that smells absolutely horrid. And I'm gonna try to hold back for that too because nobody like, I don't even wanna get to that box. I don't even wanna get to that box to be honest. But the next thing that we, the next thing that we have inside, <gasps> The dark web mystery box. We had this little wire that was also attached to the top and it's another set of coordinates. Yes, it's another set of coordinates. This is number three, latitude 47.569042, longitude minus 108.363520. Just don't go to the locations. I don't want to sound like an annoying parent, but just don't do it, please. Almost done the dark web mystery box. I'm staying away from this. This one, this one smells absolutely horrid. And I honestly thought that was it. The next thing that we have inside the dark web mystery box is another white box over here. And oh sweet Moses, I don't even wanna know what's inside this one. Oh my God, my throat's killing me. The first thing that we see, oh, a note. It says, oh, it's a spider. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 it's gone. Oh, name. What? Name. Spider-Man Van Mack Fleetwood Halen. Oh, there's a, oh my God. Oh. Okay. Wow. That's sucks. Okay, that's disgusting. I am so sorry. I know so many people probably got triggered by that. Um, I don't know how to properly pronounce it, an arachnophobia. I don't know if I said it properly, but that's how it sounds like. Arachnophobia. And that's what it looks like. People are scared of spiders, and I'm really scared of spiders, but that's just sad, man. That thing's not moving. Shoot. The next thing that we have inside the dark web box here, a skull. I don't know what the... What is this, a weapon? Or like, this is probably like a paperweight. <laughs> it's nice. This is a really, really nice design. I don't know what the heck this is. Maybe it's a pencil, no? Pencil holder. There's a little... Take a look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. You gotta appreciate art like this, don't you? Something you can put a pencil in, but I don't, it's not coming out. Anyways, if you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comment section down below. I think it's probably a paperweight. It's not that heavy to be honest, but uh, we'll take it and put it to the side. Oh my God, I can't believe we got a friggin' spider. Oh my God, there's a snail in here. There's a snail. Oh, little guy. Hello? Are you home? Hello? You have a visitor. Come out. Okay, I'm gonna put you to the side because I'm so scared for you right now. A snail traveled in a dark web mystery box. If there is actually a snail in there, that shell right now, think about this. A snail came in a dark web mystery box. That guy probably seen some shit, bro. Oh my God. The next thing that we have is the last thing that we have. We got some very, very dirty box, but Oof, I really don't want to do this, but the next thing inside the box, you've done it before, you've done it before. You can do it, do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got coordinates, 43.07-1731-108-326-136. It says 82501, take a look. We have- Here's what I found. Bro, that scared me. Did you guys actually just see how I jumped to that? Oh my goodness, that actually freaked me out. Okay, the next thing that we have inside the box, we have... That's a turtle shell! Like, <laughs> oh, that's not cool. Oh, they didn't save the turtles. What is this? What is this? What the hell is this? Guys, let me know in the comment section if you guys know what this is. Oh my God! Oh 
Oh my god, I hope there's no freaking turtle in the box. Oh, I don't want to put my hand in there. I don't want to put my hand in there. I don't want to put my hand in there. What the? They have a, a, a PCM recorder. I don't know what the heck a PCM recorder even means, but I want you guys to take a closer glimpse at it. PCM recorder. Oh, I see a battery symbol. HQ01 Test one, two, three, test. I switched to two. It switched automatically to two. Switch to three. Switch to four. God, do you need a magnifying glass to read these buttons? Is that why you had that out? Yeah, that's it. Even I can't read these. Well, I probably can if it's not if I'm in light. Let's see. Oh yeah, Mike. Fast forward. Plus minus. There's an M. There's another M. Now it's playing six. Seven. Hi, sweetheart. God, I love you more than anything in the world. Mwah. Night, night, baby. So nice though. But context is everything. This could be the scariest thing in the world. He said, I wish I could eat you all up. Good night, sweetheart. Have sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Bro, this guy is the type of man to be like, no, you hang up first. Please hang up first. If you find the guy attractive, you would think it's the sweetest thing ever. If you think he's creepy, that could be bone chilling. That could scare the living heck out of anybody. We are on number nine right now. There is nine out of 23. I'm gonna upload a video 
I guess I'm just gonna convert these into like my computer I'm gonna upload an entire video and I'm gonna upload it onto this channel crypto and wo if you guys want to see what's on this entire thing then just go watch that video because I'm not gonna have the entire thing playing there's 23 voice notes on here like I said I'm just gonna attach it to another video the link's gonna be in the description it's gonna say voice recorder press the link beside voice recorder and it'll take you to the rest of this again if you want to see it now go see it come back to the dark web mystery box but wait until the end of the mystery box because we have one more thing inside the dark web mystery box that we're gonna get out and it smells absolutely horrid in here ladies and gentlemen oh Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, they're two dead mice! Oh my god! Oh, 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 it's open! Oh, that smells so bad! Oh, that smells so bad! Oh, that smells so freaking bad! Oh my god, that smells so bad! If you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to Crypto and WO if you haven't done so already, and put on the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. If you guys want to see more videos where I react like this, press one of the two videos that appeared on the screen and you should have a great experience just like this video. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web.